Hey lovely people, welcome back to my channel. It's just Olivia Lewis and today I have a surprise for you guys. I know I haven't been online for quite a long time, but life has been very hectic. But I have a surprise. I posted these little beauties on my Instagram channel. Oh my, not Instagram channel, my Instagram story a few times, but I decided to show you guys one, but she's not having it. She she, she wants to go home, but I was like, oh, she's so cute. We should show her. Animal activists don't come for me. She's come quite comfortable in my hands. She's not being hurt. <gasps> yes. Anyway, I'm going to put her back in her bed because she smells scrumptious. She's sad that I'm holding her like that. background it's a work in progress but i was just about to do my makeup and i decided you know what why not film it someone might might want to see it i don't know <laughs> but i haven't done my uh makeup in front of the camera in quite a while so forgive me if anything looks like i don't know, updates with you guys i don't know if nobody wants to know that well i'm gonna share it anyway um so you see me not wearing glasses that's because i have contacts in and this these are just um Prescription contacts from my um, ophthalmologist, optometrist, optometrist. Is that, is that how you say it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, also, I have moved to a place of my own, so um, I have a little space that I'm trying to convert into a filming place because it's so frustrating when you really have to just set up everything and. You know putting it back down every time you want to film something. um so my face is really dry right now because i cleanse my face with this cerave foaming cleanser facial cleanser and i also have their um their lotion and i use my it's like a face face scrubbing brush i use that while i'm doing that so my face is really dry right now because even it's not really really dry but it is dry as you see around like my um like my, my lips right here so i'm just gonna use my favorite which you guys have seen already my neutrogena hydro boost gel cream for anyone who's interested it's really good i don't use it every day but when i do do my makeup i use it and another change is that when i used to use this the stellar just like um the samples that you get from sephora the stellar brilliant primer but for some reason this sometimes leaves me ashy so i changed to this which is it's just a, a drugstore brand but it's been working really good it's the illuminating serum from okay very cute i think it's a korean um brand I'm not sure where you can probably find it, but um, probably even Amazon. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to put just a small amount of this um, all over my face. Just gently. Um, and this is just like a satin wrap that I have over my um, wig just because I just laid it down with glue. So I think that's all we need right now. Yep, not much, don't want it to be oily. And then I'm just gonna go in with the instant, the e.l.f. instant brow lift. You guys have seen me use this already and it's in the color deep brown. Just gonna use that. Sorry if you guys can't see. I haven't really gotten this area set up really for filming. I'm just trying to get it perfect. But I really do wanna start pushing out some better content for you guys. Making YouTube videos. So much fun, but so much work. Okay, so I'm just being lazy today. There's not much going into this space, just a soft oh I did try today and well I tried a little bit don't want to look like an ogre going out on the street right 
then I'm going to take my um, my e.l.f. oil-free satin finish, which I think this is a bare lie because really and truly this is, a, this is, I guess it's, I guess it is a satin finish, but it ain't, it, it, ain't, it isn't oil-free. It is very weird for them to say that with, and it's not. So what I do is, so, hold on a second. So this is it, and I just use it upper under my eyes. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out. Hopefully not a lot. Ooh, I said a little bit. And I'm just gonna wipe that off. Really and truly, I just really do this just so just so I can differentiate my eyeshadow from anything else because I do not only from working um, nights, but I do have naturally dark eyelids. So if I just want to do like a brown on my eyelid, it, it looks kind of one and the same if I don't have anything separating it. And also, if you guys are interested in seeing a video with my guinea pigs, I am down to show you guys because I'm very proud of them. Very, very proud. I have four. So I'm very excited if anyone is actually interested in seeing my little piggies. And I'm not going heavy today. I'm just, as I said, I'm just going out for some errands. Whatever residue is left on the brush after I take off my um, the satin wrap, I'll just use that to to blend in with the lace. I haven't gotten, as I said, I haven't gotten everything fixed up or anything yet, so I'm just using my compact from Morphe as a mirror right now. Okay, I'm telling you, this is very, very simple. Um, I'm just gonna get my my e.l.f. blending brush. This one, I know, it's nasty. Um, and then I'm just gonna dip into the same Morphe palette. I was gonna do another palette, but to be honest, this, the brown, the chocolate diamond brown in this, which is that one, as you see, I've used it a lot. That one right there, literally every day. If I have to go anywhere and I'm putting on makeup, that's literally my um my go-to. You're gonna see it really it's just like my natural lid color. So when I put that there, I just blend it up. You can see, see that. And it does because I put the um the elf foundation under my eyes, it differentiates it then but if i didn't it would look like it's just one big dark bulb 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 what am i is that with i don't know but yeah so that's literally all i do so i'm so out of practice for making youtube videos thought i was getting the hang of it and then life punched me in the face i got so busy mm. I think that's it. I don't know. Yeah. Just yep. Then I am just going to take this elf highlighting brush. This one. And I'm gonna use my Birds Bees blush in a velvet wine 12. 13 if anyone is interested in that for dark skinned girls 
I find it very useful. This is the only brush I've blush I've ever <laughs> brush. This is the only blush I've ever used consistently because I did have another one which was more like an orange tone, but it made me look like a pumpkin. And in the sun it was way too bright. So the contrast of my dark skin and the blush was just too much. So I'm just putting this on generously. And I put it, I think, further up than most people. But that's only because it looks so pretty. Who can say no to such a pretty blush? Yes, and I know I'm doing my makeup backwards, but don't worry. This is what's working for me now, especially if I'm not doing a full face. This is what really works for me. Um, then I'm just going to take my Maybelline Fit Me, which is what I don't normally use. I've been using the, um, the banana powder, whatever they call that shit. But if I don't set properly with that one, it makes me look casty. So for this, just to give myself a brighter under eye, I just take this brush that I've had forever. It's just a cheap um, Amazon brush that I got when I first started doing my makeup. I know, it looks weird, but it, 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 will, it will just like come. It will settle out. And I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, which I use as just my powder brush. And I cannot find my powder. That's funny. Okay, one second, I'll be right back. Yeah, so I just forgot my um, foundation. Not my foundation, just my powder, my dark powder. And it's just the same powder I've always used, my loose um, powder, number 40, from um, Fit Me. Now, I've ha I've ha I have other powders, but this, is just my go-to so i'm just using my elf ultimate blending brush and i'm just gonna go over everything that's on my face with this just slightly because it is a dark powder to be honest it does darken up anything that it crosses so even my hair i just go over with this just to set everything even my wig. <laughs> um, then I'm just gonna use these lashes. They're my own brand. Um, coming to you guys soon. Working on it. But I'm just gonna try these out. Um, for now. Just so you guys can get a better look at them. Really cute. Really full. So sorry about that. I, I said this was an impromptu thing because the back is the background isn't finished. But I really wanted to just come on camera today. So I got my mascara, my eyeliner, and my lash glue, which is what I forgot. Um, so first I'm just gonna dab some mascara on my lashes. And don't do this because it's bad for the brush but i've been doing it for a long time so that this brush is already gone <laughs> there's nothing we can do to save this mascara i only use it when i'm putting on my lashes i have another mascara if i'm not putting on lashes which is less clumpy and that's the one i use And it's funny, this is the first time I'm gonna be putting on lashes since I've gotten my contacts. Well, my new contacts, because I did have um, just a normal contacts a year ago, but I only wore them for like a month. I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered, I don't know why.
So I just put some liquid eyeliner on the on my um on my eyelids or my eye, I don't know what you call that. The corners. The tip, I don't know. Just because I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. <laughs> and you can fix anything in regards to like eyelash if you have like eyeliner already on your eyes. So no one can see the band in my clothes. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, you can see your band, that's nice, see you. For a time, I know I look funny, but for a time, like I really tried the individual lashes, but I went to a girl and it wasn't too good. Um, I don't know if it's the glue, but it started falling out. It was really bad. Like that's a story for another time. It wasn't even that bad, but it made me not want to try it again unless I do it myself because I normally just put them in myself and they last a week and I'm good with that. But when you're paying, you know, like a hundred dollars or eighty dollars or whatever, I don't know how much people pay, but like that's usually what you pay in Canada between like 80 to 150 depending on what you want i'm just gonna take this brush and go into this and just put it on top that's all Then I'm gonna go back with my same with the same brush that I used for my blush. And I'm just gonna tap it on and just go over with some highlight. The same highlight that I just used on my um eyelids. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the same palette and take some of the brown and just put it down on the bottom. This I don't look ghostly white and I look like I have some depth to my eyes. Cause that's why I, why I put this here, right? But not, not because I want to look ghostly white or anything, but just so my face doesn't look like one dimensional or whatever you call that shit. I think that went everywhere except where it was supposed to go. All in. I'm gonna untie this. I think this might be a mess. Ah, I knew it was gonna stick. Okay. So I am back. Oh gosh, I forgot something. Okay, so again, I am back. I know I keep forgetting stuff. So I just stole my boyfriend's brush, and I'm just gonna brush this back. I told it's not really like today isn't really that serious. I just wanted to put on some makeup for because I haven't done so in a while. I'm just brushing this back. It's just a 3x4 lace. This is the wig that I made myself, so not the best construction probably. <laughs> it was the first wig I made, but it's what I didn't want to put like lace everywhere. And I'm just going to take this comb and just comb it back and just put it in a ponytail. And that's it. I'm gonna put on some lip gloss. If I can find any. And that's it guys. So I really do hope that you enjoyed just this little snippet of what is to come. Hopefully I can really find some time to finish this it's all, only because it's really hard right now to finish the back backdrop because in canada they have banned the non-essential shopping which means a place where i would buy these um and other decorative stuff they can't sell it to me because it's non-essential so they're only selling food stuff and food items and you know that's just how canada works right now they we should be opening um the country back in a few days so hopefully i'll be able to buy the rest of the things anyway guys thank you for watching my video and i really hope to see you next time very very soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel 
and I'll see you in the next one.